So further on in my notes, until I, I actually put together the chapters, just a little note. Um, James the Just, who was he? Well, he was venerated by certain people who were of the, uh, of the Jewish, of the Judaizing sect. If you, if you look at uh, the association in history, it was the Judaizers that, that, that venerated James. Uh, they rejected Paul and accepted James. We look at the Ebionites and the early Christians, and we see that there was definitely a sect of people who were making James, uh, including like Symmachus, um, these people were venerating James, but then on the other hand, other people rejected James. The, when the church was trying to get away from this idea of, uh, of it going back to Judaism. So James was part of this fight between Judaism and, and, and the true Christianity that was uh, not legal. So we see that there was good reason why the book of James was so disputed. But then later on, it wound up in the scriptures uh, with, a, with a dividing line, because Martin Luther did put a dividing line between the scriptures that were disputed and were not. But then later, somebody just took the dividing line out. It said, well, you know. So now it was just accepted without any question when it was always supposed to be accepted or at least looked at in question of who and what James was. So this was all lost to antiquity, and I believe on purpose. I believe that the whole idea of the, the confrontation between James and uh, James and Paul was, was supposed to be forgotten so that Satan could have his way. And so all these things that happened, people wouldn't look, like, look at. 